What if I told you holograms and 3D projections are all possible in vanilla Minecraft? Well, let me show you how I did it. So the reason we're able to make holograms in Minecraft is all because of this. It's magnificent. Everyone knows what this is, it's a particle, right? I mean, particles are literally everywhere in Minecraft. So the question is, how do we go from something like this to something like this? So imagine we take this image of the map and we put it onto a 2D plane, and then we split up the image into tiny little points. If we then give each of those points a coordinate, we can actually translate those coordinates on the 2D plane into coordinates in Minecraft. So we can do exactly that using a program called Particle Converter. So if we decrease the resolution here, we can actually see what I was talking about. The image is now split up into points on a 2D plane, which means if we render this, we get the image that we're looking for, now made of particles, in game. Once you export the image, it will give you a data pack function with thousands upon thousands of lines of code. And each line of code is essentially one particle. So I made some other images which I thought were pretty cool to show off. Uh, so we've got... <laughs> Uh, the biggest nuts you've ever seen. Now, a small problem with rendering these holograms with particles is that the particles are always moving, meaning the image can seem a bit fuzzy. But overall, I think it does a pretty good job of showing the image. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Now, something cool that we can do with these particle holograms is actually attach them to uh, an armor stand. And when you attach the hologram to an armor stand, you can actually do some pretty cool things. Um, <laughs> so we can actually rotate the armor stand to rotate the hologram around. The commands for this are actually pretty simple. Firstly, I'm just executing the hologram at the armor stand. And because the hologram is just attached to the armor stand, all I need to do is just run a teleport command to rotate the armor stand. And then we get this uh, So if I go into spectator, you can actually see it's just the hologram that's spinning around. Now, this kind of looks pretty janky uh, with the monk over here. So I thought a really cool application for this would be uh, a portal from Rick and Morty. So if we turn this on, uh, the portal actually rotates. Wait, what happens when we jump through this thing? Oh, sh Well, I mean, uh, for those who are curious about how that works, I just have a uh, repeating command block under here, which literally just teleports me over there when I get too close to it. So another really cool way of making 2D holograms in Minecraft is by using custom named armor stands. This was made by a guy called Kay and Kevin. He's an absolute beast when it comes to making this kind of stuff. So after the video, make sure you go check out his channel. Now something he's managed to do is actually make a GIF uh, using this technique. And the screen kind of follows you around as the video plays. And you can actually see the armor stands if you go into spectator mode. And the so-called pixels that are displayed are literally just custom names given to the armor stands. And you can actually see if we go into the data pack. When we play the video, it's literally just changing the custom names of each hundred armor stands. Which is pretty cool because that's actually how LED screens work in real life. I'm not saying your monitor's a bunch of armor stands, but the general technique used is the same. I think it'd be really cool to try and make an animation using the particle technique. So the way I'm doing this is using the exact same technique we've been using so far. So remember that we can rotate these armor stands. And if we can rotate the armor stands, then we can also move them. All I've done here is made a scoreboard timer. And as the timer goes down, I'm literally just teleporting the armor stands to where I want the holograms to go. I've also added in a little click sound when the uh, subscribe button is pressed. So if you get a bunch of holograms attached to armor stands and you move them, you get something like this. <laughs> Not bad, eh? So if I quickly um, switch into Spectator, you can actually see the armor stand moving. And if I do it from this angle, then you can see that the armor stand actually moves inwards. Talking of which, you should definitely hit that subscribe button. These videos take a lot of effort to make, and I really appreciate it. Even though this is really cool, I think we can take this a bit further. You see, if this works in 2D, which it does pretty well, I'd say, then theoretically, we could use the same logic to make something in 3D. Now I know for a fact that this works because K and Kevin, the madman, has actually managed to make a 3D model using particles. I mean, this is fantastic, really. It's actually really detailed. And I'm guessing it's, yep, completely hollow in the inside. And we can make the best spin if we want as well. Um, <laughs> so the reason we're able to do this is actually pretty simple. Before we had an image on a 2D plane and we mapped it into coordinates and put that into Minecraft. But here we're just taking that 3D model, putting it onto a 3D plane, turning the model into a bunch of points, translating those points into Minecraft coordinates, and there we go, we get this. So if we want to make more 3D models, then we just take a 3D model file 
put it into the same program and it spits out a data pack function that we can put into Minecraft, right? Turns out it's not that simple. See, the particle converter program only works with images. So how do we go from a 3D model like this and put it into Minecraft? See, this is an OBJ file. All an OBJ file is, is just coordinates of polygons. What Kevin's done is just taken these coordinates, put it into a Python script, and then it spits out a data pack function with Minecraft particles. So I tried to make my own 3D models using that technique, and uh, well, here we go. Huh, sh I think we've run into an issue here. All right, let's try this one. Yeah. That's not good. So I think I've identified the problem. These OBJ files need something called an MTL file to go along with it. The MTL file is what gives the OBJ files textures and color. And apparently all of the models that I downloaded were just converted into OBJ, so their MTL files were empty. Okay, after about three hours of digging for 3D models that came with MTL files, I think we've managed to find some models that actually work. So the first of which is, um, <laughs> um it actually worked. I think part of the reason this one works pretty well is because it's only two colors really. So detail isn't really an issue here. All right, let's see if any of the other ones work. So this one could potentially be really cool or really bad. Eh. So if you can't tell, um, <laughs> this is a car. I don't know what's going on with the floor, but I mean, the car model looks all right. Again, a lot of the details are lost just because of the way this works. Particles are never going to give you the clearest image, but this is still pretty cool. So there's our car. Next up, this is the one I'm most excited for. <laughs> we have a globe. Damn, this turned out really well. Now I think we can do some pretty cool stuff with this model. So over here, I've just set something up pretty quickly. These command blocks are just controls for the armor stand. So up, down, left, right. And then we have a spin over here. So we can spin the globe. Okay, we can also make it go up. Um, <laughs> uh, we can make it go left, make it go right. Uh, we can even make it go up and left at the same time, which is... <laughs> Whoa! Um, so let's stop that there. And it's just an earth in the sky. I mean, look at this. <laughs> I mean, imagine you're just vibing playing some survival and then you look up and see that. Honestly amazing. And then with one click of the button, you can bring it back. Uh, we can do the exact same thing with the bear if we want. I want to see a space bear. Bye bye So yeah, we just have a sky bear now. <laughs> I mean, just think how cool this would be for adventure maps. You're just, you're just vibing around and then suddenly uh, you just... Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> Wait, let's, let's make him come back. <laughs> Any second now. <laughs> Alright, just for a bit of reference. Here's me. And here's the bear! I mean, I think I'm just barely bigger than his foot. Damn. Okay, I think it's about time to say goodbye to this terrifying f <laughs> And the animation where he disappears is, is so cool. So the last thing that I wanted to show you was another thing that Kevin made. This video really wouldn't be possible without him, so go check out his channel after the video. So he's managed to make some floating lanterns which actually float. What does this have to do with holograms? Absolutely nothing. I just wanted to say that holograms have shown me why Minecraft is such a great game. People like Kevin make cool shit in the game. Not because they need to, just because they can. And it's because of people like Kevin that Minecraft will never get old, no matter how infrequently Mojang update the game. I guess what I'm trying to say is, look at the nuts on this fella.